welcome back to my channel thank you for tuning in so today I have this makeup tutorial going on for you guys I wanted to do something that's going into spring I feel like this was a perfect look for spring to summertime because it's just uh, glowy and um, not so much of a full coverage it's it's just looks glowy and dewy and it's like if I'm glowing from within that's just how I feel I do have lots of lashes going on and a bold lip which is what I wanted to do I wanted something really really soft on my eyes even my face I didn't contour I just bronzed up my face a little bit and I added a really really soft blush because like I said I didn't want something so intense I wanted the pop of color to be for my lips and I wanted lots of lashes I do give you guys four different lip colors with this look because those are basically the four lip colors that I like to go for for spring and summertime. They're just so nice and bold and vibrant and like bam in your face. And that's what I like to wear for spring and summertime. During the fall and winter times, I like to do more of the mauve and nudes and dark browns. But being that spring is right around the corner, actually summer is right around the corner. Spring is already here. At least in New York, the weather is warming up and it feels really beautiful outside. I decided to go ahead and bring you guys this makeup and four different lip colors that you can pair with this makeup or any other makeup that you would like. So if you guys want to see how I got this makeup look, then you guys know what to do. Just keep watching this video. So my face is freshly washed and moisturized and now I'm going to go ahead and moisturize my lips because before I apply any makeup on my face, I always like to go ahead and moisturize my lips because if I apply any lip color I want my lip color to look nice and flawless and I don't want anything to cling on to my dry spots for primer I'm gonna go ahead and use my Maybelline baby skins because I want my pores to look minimized because I want my foundation to go on flawlessly For foundation or should we say BB cream because I'm using a BB cream, I'm gonna go ahead and mix my Maybelline Dream Fresh BB cream with my Magic Lumi Primer from L'Oreal because I want a nice luminous glowy skin and I don't want to do too much of a foundation, I just want a nice even canvas for my face. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this BB cream with this primer. To apply this BB cream, I found that it works best when I used a classic foundation brush and this is a Sigma foundation F60 brush I love the way it leaves the BB cream on my face and it doesn't leave no streak marks or anything blotchy I just love the way the BB cream applies with this classic foundation brush for concealer I'm going in with my Maybelline fit me concealer in the color light I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this directly under my eyes just for a little bit of coverage on my dark circles and I'm going to blend this in with my dabbed Miracle Complexion Sponge by Real Techniques. Now for a little bit of a highlight, I'm going to go in with this Hope For Everywhere Concealer. And this is in the shade, I believe 4. I'm not sure what shade this is, but I'll make sure to list it down below in the description bar. I'm just gonna apply this in the usual highlighting spots very lightly as well I don't want anything too intense and I'm going back in with the same sponge to blend this out Now for a little extra highlight on the face because I want to look glowy and magical and I just want to look like I came out of a fairy tale, I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit of this High Beam by Benefit. This is like a cream highlighter and I'm just going to apply this to the same points where I usually highlight. I 
I love the way it makes the skin look. It doesn't make it look oily or like if you're sweaty. It just makes it look nice and healthy and glowy. To set my concealer, I'm going to go ahead and use my e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Powder. And I'm setting this with my Real Techniques setting brush. I'm going to go ahead and move on to my brows. I'm just going to quickly fill them in using my Rimmel London Dark Eyebrow Pencil. And over that, I'm just going to go ahead with the darkest powder shade in the BH Cosmetics Flawless Brow Trio in the color medium. And to set my brows, I'm using my Maybell Maybelline. And to set my brows, I'm using this Bobbi Brown Clear Natural Brow Shape. Shaper. Shaper, not shape, shaper. Moving on, I'm going to go ahead and bronze up my face. And I'm using this Enter Pronoun Bronzer in the color... Color? In the color... Blowtorch 1. I don't want a heavy contour. I just want natural, healthy, glowy looking skin. Which, of course, there's nothing natural about this because I'm wearing makeup. But you know what I mean. Now, for a little more of a highlight, I'm going to go in and apply a little bit of this bit big. Elf Bait Highlighter in the color Moonline Pearls and I'm applying this with an Elf Small Taper Brush. I love this highlighter. It's so inexpensive. And look at that glow. And for blush, I'm going in with this e.l.f. blush in the color Tickled Pink. And I'm going to apply this with the Sigma Large Powder F30 brush. I don't use this for powder, I like to use this for blush. Now to blend everything that's on my face, I'm going in with this large duo fiber brush. To start off on my eyes, to prep them, I'm going to go ahead and use my e.l.f. eyelid primer all over my lid. I'm going to use Coastal Scents Oatmeal Tan and I'm going to blend this in with my Morphe M200 brush. I'm just going to apply this directly on my crease. And I'm taking this from outer to inner corner. I'm taking my time blending this because I want it to look nice and blown. I don't want any harsh lines. And since it's only one eyeshadow that I'm using on my crease, I want it to look nice and blended. And I want it to be nice and soft, nothing harsh, and nothing too dark or too intense. I'm going to go ahead and round off the outside of my eye. I don't want anything sharp. Like I said, I don't want anything too intense. Now for my eyelids, I'm going to go ahead with my Lorac Mega Pro palette. I'm going to go ahead and use this shade Sand from the palette. It's a beautiful shimmery color. It's more on the champagne 
kind of golden side opposed to the white side. Just going to pick up a little bit of vanilla. This is more of a white um, shimmery color. I'm just going to apply that a little bit in my inner tear dots, like in the inner corner of my eyes. I'm gonna go back in with the oatmeal um, oatmeal tan eyeshadow from Costa Scents, and I'm just gonna run this on my lower lash line. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply a coat of two of my of my L'Oreal Voluminous Miss Manga Mascara. For lashes, I'm using my Ardell Demi Wispies 120 lashes. For the first lip, I'm going to go ahead and do an orangey lip, which the lipstick actually matches my nails. And this is uh, 969 by Wet n Wild in the color 24 Carat Gold. And for gloss, I'm using my NYX Butter Gloss in the color Cherry Cheesecake. This is such a beautiful lip color that goes with the eyes and the face. It's perfect for spring and summer. It's so nice and girly and bright and I just love the way it looks with the face. For the second lip color, I'm using my ColourPop Leapy Pencil in the color Wifey and I'm just going to go ahead and outline my lips. And for lipstick, I'm going to go in with my Milani lipstick in the color 14 Rose Hip. And this is the pink lip. I really do love the way this lipstick looks as well with the face, the eyes, and the lashes. It's just such a nice way to use a lip color for like a pop of color when you're not used to either wearing pink or red or orange or anything on your eyes. You can always use a pop of color on your lips and it's just the best way to amp up a look. For my third lip, I'm using this jumbo kind of lip pencil. It's by Jing Ai. It's a velvet shine lip jewel. I got this in my boxy charm, I think, two months ago and I love the way this jumbo pencil works. This is a little more daring, a little more sexy. You can always throw this lip color on for when you're gonna go out at nighttime with the same makeup look. If you want, you can always go ahead and dust off a little bit of a dark brown or like a dark eyeshadow to the outer corner of your eyes or to your lower lash line and you have a nighttime makeup look. Now for the fourth lip color, I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with my Jordana lip liner in the color Silver Lilac. And for lip color, I'm going in with my Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm in the color Shameless. I also love this color more for like a nighttime look. Paired with the same kind of eyes and the same face. The purple has a lot of blue undertones, but it also has a little bit of pink and magenta, so it doesn't make it look so blue on camera. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy. If you have any questions, any requests, please make sure to leave them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Now I will go ahead and see you guys on my next video. Mwah!